we're going to show that this 3x3 matrix isn't diagonalizable. There's a link in the description to my lesson introducing diagonalizability. In that video, we saw that an n by n matrix is diagonalizable if and only if it has n linearly independent eigenvectors. So to show that this matrix is not diagonalizable, we'll have to show that it doesn't have three linearly independent eigenvectors. Since this is a lower triangular matrix, its eigenvalues are simply its diagonal entries. So already at a glance, we can see that the eigenvalues are three and two. There are only two distinct eigenvalues. If this matrix had three distinct eigenvalues, it would have to have three linearly independent eigenvectors and hence would be diagonalizable. Since it only has two eigenvalues, it's possible that it's diagonalizable, but we have to do more work to determine whether or not that's the case. So we have to find the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to this eigenvalue and the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to this eigenvalue. It's going to turn out that each eigenspace has a dimension of one, and so there are only two linearly independent eigenvectors. But it's certainly possible, in a different example, that this eigenvalue could have an eigenspace of dimension two, and this eigenvalue could have an eigenspace of dimension one, and so the matrix would still be diagonalizable. But let's see why that's not the case in this example. The eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue three is the solution space of this system, where this coefficient matrix is the matrix lambda i minus a, but with three plugged in for lambda. So on the diagonals, we have three minus the diagonal entries of a, and everywhere else we just have the negative entries of a. Similarly, if we take lambda i minus a and plug in this other eigenvalue, we get this coefficient matrix. And again, the solution space of this system, that is the null space of this matrix, is the eigenspace corresponding to this eigenvalue. We could perform Gauss-Jordan elimination and then find a basis for the solution space. However, if we just want to show that the matrix isn't diagonalizable, we could just check the nullity of these matrices. At a glance, we can see that this matrix has a rank of two. Since it's a three by three matrix, its nullity must be one because rank plus nullity equals N. Similarly, this matrix has a rank of two and so its nullity is one. So I know that the solution space to this system has one basis vector and the solution space to this system has one basis vector. Those basis vectors are linearly independent eigenvectors. So I know that this matrix has two linearly independent eigenvectors not three, hence it's not diagonalizable. So this method works just considering the nullity is sufficient to show that this matrix isn't diagonalizable. But if we didn't know that from the start, then we may be trying to diagonalize it, in which case it would be useful to have the eigenvectors. So another solution would be to just find the eigenvectors and see how many linearly independent ones we have. To do that, we would just solve these systems. Using Gauss-Jordan elimination, you can verify that we would arrive at this and this reduced row echelon form matrix, and they each give way to a single basis vector. This solution has x1 as a free variable, and this solution has x3 as a free variable. We see there are only two linearly independent eigenvectors, and so again we can conclude that the matrix isn't diagonalizable. If we didn't know that from the start though, then maybe the matrix was diagonalizable, in which case it certainly would be helpful to have those eigenvectors, which is why you might just want to do it this way. Either method we choose, the solution is the same. A is a 3 by 3 matrix whose eigenspaces have only two basis vectors, that is only two linearly independent eigenvectors for this matrix. Hence. A is not diagonalizable. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.